Good morning, church. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is a day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Amen. 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 So I said I want to do that, but I'm going to do it anyway. Come on, let's be God's yeah. Amen. He is worthy to be praised. Yeah. Whenever we walk through this door, we should walk through here with a praise on our lips. Amen. Because God is that good. Yep. So we're going to go ahead on and get started. Our uh, first on the agenda is our Kingdom Builders Christian Center Church vision statement. After that, our uh, Kingdom Builders Christian Center Church mission statement. So our vision statement reads, we are an uncommon church composed of uncommon people doing uncommon things in a manner of ethics. We are workers together with Christ, building and discipling people of purpose, power, praise, and faith through fellowship. We are building families and their finances while reaching out to the unsaved, the untaught, and the unchurched. We are receiving abundance of wealth and abundance of soul in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our Kingdom Builders Christian Center Church mission statement reads, Kingdom Builders Christian Center Church has committed itself to be a ministry of ecstasy, changing lives. It says, we do this by taking seriously our call to be and to make disciples. Pastor Bryce has stated in the beginning that we are a church like none other, and he only measured the success of this ministry by the transformed lives. That is why we minister to the whole man for whole life prosperity. Our ministry to all of God's creation compels us to make discipleship, not a membership. The major focus of our ministry, vision, and mission is kingdom building is to do the will of God all year, every year, and looking forward to the years to come. Amen? Amen. Let us pray. Father God in heaven, we are going to come before you this morning, Father, with thanksgiving in our hearts. Father, we thank you, Father, for just watching over. We stepped in slumber last night, Father. Touch us with your mighty hands of mercy and wickedness this morning, Father. With a reason amount of help and strength and closing our right minds, dear God. Father, we just thank you, Father, for just continuing to bless us, continue to bless this ministry. Father, continue to bless our pastor, Father. We pray, Father, that you just continue to lift him up to higher heights, Father, that he will lead us in the way that we should go. Father, I pray, dear God, that you give us ears to hear. And, Father, a heart to listen, Father, and a doer of your word, dear God. Father, we pray, dear God, you forgive us for all our sins, Father, that you are creating us a clean heart. Renew the right spirit in us, dear God, that we will be a light to somebody, Father. Father, we just thank you, Father, and, Father, we pray for all our children, Father, start school on tomorrow, and some have already started school, Father. Father, I pray, plead the blood of Jesus Christ, your son, over their lives, Father. Amen. I plead that, you, that your blood be cover them, Father, and protect the them from Jesus. all her harm. Not only the children, Father, the teachers, Father, the administrators, the forces, Father. Protect them, dear God. And Father, we just know that you've got everything under control, Father. So we give you all the honor, the glory, and the praise of your son Jesus, and we do pray. Amen. 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 Let us bow. Dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you, Father God, for waking us up this morning, Lord God, and watching over us while we slept, Father. Lord God, I ask that you just fill our hearts, Father God, with love, kindness, mercy. Father God, I ask that you just watch over this church, Lord God, as a whole. Father God, make up in our minds, Father God. Help us make up in our mind. We're going to live for you and you alone, Lord Amen. God. Get rid of all the distractions, Lord God, that are holding us back to, to love and, and, and each other and to honor you, Father God. Lord God, I ask that you just to watch over this land, Lord God. Continue to make things whole and new, Father God, in our sights, Lord. Let us let us rejoice, Lord God, in knowing that you have the final say so, Lord God. Not man, not anybody, Lord God, but you. Lord God, thank you for what you're doing in this ministry, Lord God. Let us have a heart for you, Father God, to do your work, Father God, to stretch out through the land, Lord. Thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're doing right now, Lord, and what you're going to do in the future, Father. Jesus Christ's name we do pray. Amen. 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 Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Our announcements for today, uh, Kingdom Economics classes will resume on August the 22nd at 10 a.m. Also, if you brought your certificate back, uh, we would like to see you briefly after service just for a quick picture with your certificate. And happy birthday to everyone with an August birthday. Amen. 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 Good morning, everyone. Good morning. 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 Good morning.
morning, everybody. Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. How many of y'all feel good this morning? Amen. Amen. How many of y'all feel good this morning? Amen. God has been so good to us. Amen. God has been too good to us to sit down on him and not to want to worship and praise him this morning. How many of y'all know that God has got great things in store for you? Expecting great things. I'm expecting great things. I'm expecting great things. Great things. How many of y'all expecting that in your life? Can y'all say it? I'm expecting great things. How many of y'all believe that? I'm expecting great things.
excited about what God has in store for you? How many of y'all excited about what God has in store for you? Amen, amen, amen. God is so good. Amen. How many of y'all have your Bibles this morning? Amen. Hallelujah, God. God is good to us. Amen. He is good to us. Lift your Bibles up high. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. I am a believer, not a doubter. I am a doer and not just a hearer. And my life is the better after having heard the word of faith. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Amen. 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 How many of y'all know we serve a good God? Amen. Amen. Things might not go the way that we think it should go. But we serve a good God. Amen. Our hearts cry. Can you lift your hands to heaven? Be magnified in this your holy temple, in this your holy place. We will rise to Zion's heights to pray.
for everything. I, I give you the glory. I give you the honor. I give you the praise. He never left you. He's never forsaken you. Hallelujah, God. Oh, how we Amen. Oh, they took us over here. 
Amen. He don't even know he gives me a hard thing. He may give y'all a hard thing. I don't know what y'all did to him. Amen. 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 The book of Psalms. The 118th chapter of Psalms. Amen. And the 118 is between 117 and 119. This is the end. Psalms 118. Got a Bible? I hope everybody has a Bible. If you don't have a Bible, then you let somebody got a Bible, bust them out like this and move me on, let me see. Then you bust them out and set them free. Amen. 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 You know, some people get a Bible and want you to look at it. <laughs> I don't have any guys on Sunday. Amen. Get your Bible. Amen. I'm just playing. Don't set that attitude. For my first time guests, y'all got to get to know me in a minute. I like to have fun, but I'm serious. Amen. The 118 number of Psalms, verse number 17. Ain't time to say amen. amen. If you're still looking, I'm still looking. If you ain't found out about now, it's on the screen. Am I reading here? Ready, amen. Read. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. Amen. amen. You may be sitting in the presence of Almighty God. Amen. Now, uh, I got to ask you a question. Anybody ready to die? <laughs> <laughs> Facebook, anybody ready to die? Well, I'm going to use more topic today. Since you're not ready to die, I shall live and not die. All right. Tell somebody next to you, airborne, air, air, I said airborne. <laughs> so I should live and not die. I should live and not die. If you tell them, if you tell them too, you're up with me like that again, you might end up dead. <laughs> I'm trying to get you to wake up. All right. I should live and not die. Yeah. And declare the work of the Lord. Y'all yeah. better stay with me. I told you last week. God. Only wants and coming back after praises. Yeah. Right. Come on. Come on. If you ain't praising, when you die, I don't know where you're going. All right. But if you praise it and make the transition, you're going to be with him. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Now, I want you to understand something now. Don't let the devil talk you into dying before your time. That's right. Uh-huh. Say it with me. God wants you to live. Amen. Y'all let me know when I say something. God says something to make you happy. God wants you to live. Amen. Okay, 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 okay. Nobody in here, I don't think, is ready to die go out there in Facebook land. So how many of you, since you're not ready to die, and I'm not, I don't, I don't blame you, scared of that? Okay. If you learn that God wants you to live, then you won't be afraid of that. That's right. Amen. Amen. Come on, man. I'm going to have to use some clown. I see that now. There's a rising death toll that's going on in the world. All right. Yes, sir. And it's got people afraid. Amen. All right. Okay. There's a thing going around called COVID. Yes. yes. And it's killing people yep. along with other things. That's killing people, yeah. which is making the death toll rise. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And folk, for some reason, love talking about death 
rather than life. Come on. Amen. Right. Amen. And the more they talk about death, the scarier you become. Come on. Amen. Come on. I wish I had some real people just to help yes, a little bit. Yes, sir. See, death is real. Oh, yeah. But if you are in the Lord, you don't worry about dying. You just make a transition. That's it. To be with him. Amen. This is why. Flesh and blood cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. That's right. Only by your spirit. That God has approved, just my might, that will help you get to where you need to be with Him. Amen. 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 So people are beginning to surrender and just go on and die. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, this, I'm, I'm, I'm going to help y'all because this is just too real, I guess. You can die before your time. Yes, sir. Amen. Yeah, you can. Yes, you can. Okay, okay, okay. Here's the scripture. It says, Honor thy mother, thy mother and, thy, and thy father. Because if you don't, you'll cut your day short. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Word. I didn't write that. It, go, it, it says, honor thy mother and thy father, where thy days will be long yeah. on this earth. Yes, and, listen, the reason some folks are dying young, they ain't honor their mother and their father. Amen. 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 So you think you can't cut your day short? I know that it was just their time. No, no, it wasn't their time. They cut the day short. Yep. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I, I tell you what, y'all, y'all don't think I'm scared, and, and I'm, 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 I'm kind of scared. I'm 62 years young, and my mother's still living. There are certain things that 62, my mama can't tell me. But I won't tell her that. Right. <laughs> it's 62. Right. She got a little keg now. I believe she got with this. You go to half this. <laughs> now she wants to hit you with the keg. <laughs> I ain't scared. I'm just smart. Yeah. So see, in my mama house, and the one mouth. That's it. Amen. You do not walk in her house thinking you own anything. Amen. Amen. She will hurry up and check you. Yes. Amen. Amen. So I still have to honor mama at 62. Right. Amen. 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 Cause mama don't play that. She like home. <laughs> you can say something and you don't even be talking. To her for a second, she'll ask you, who do you think you're talking right. to? There you go. Now you trapped. Because you can't say you talking to her. And sure who you're talking to don't say nobody. Amen. Right. You got to still honor your mother and your father. Right. Amen. With no days to be long on this earth. Amen. 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 People seem to be doing well in this day and time and still die. Yes, Amen. News flash. You're not too young to die. Amen. Amen. Just like old folk die too. Yep. And some old folk got to live in young folk. And watch this. I don't believe they got to be old being no fool. Amen. I'm going to preach this thing because I'm going to live yes, and not die. Yes, and declare the work of the Lord. Yeah. You should be tired of just breathing air and not doing nothing for God. Come Amen. On, Come on. Amen. Come on. You ought to be tired of just sucking up all God's there. Amen. And don't do nothing for him. That's right. You ought to get tired of just eating all of God's food. And don't do nothing for him. Amen. You ought to get tired of being around God's people and never treat them right. Amen. You ought to be tired of just being tired. Amen. Where you say, well, all those things belong to me and I ain't got to worry about it because I, I ain't messing with God like that. But God changed you back up in Psalm girl. He said, the earth belongs to me, baby boy, baby girl, yeah. and everything is in it. So when you mistreat anything, you mistreat me. Amen. That's, Amen. It. That's it. When you don't want to live for God, you something want to die. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. Y'all don't know this. I ain't gonna charge you for it. This is food. Hell ain't had food. Come on. Come on. 
You keep going like you're going, you're going to help fill it up. Amen. You got to change what you're doing. Amen. If you want to live, get to God. Amen. Watch. Here it is. God says, I know. The plan to prosper you. Let me see. Let me, let me read that. I know your plan to prosper you and to bring you good success. It don't say Pastor Vernon know the plan to prosper himself and to bring him good success. Lady T don't know the plan to right. prosper her, right. nor to bring her good success. Amen. AP don't know the plan to prosper himself and bring him good success. Only God know the plan. All right, God. Only God. Yes, Only God know the plan. So ain't no need you try to introduce your plan because right. your plan don't prosper. Well, well, he knows the plan to prosper. That's why he'll watch it. That's why he allowed, watch here the plan, here the plan, here the plan. He allowed COVID to come into the earth. Yeah. It's the plus for you. Yeah. What you, and, and, oh, it, now, you ain't never been praying like you've been praying now. Right. You ain't never been pleading the blood like you've yeah. been pleading the blood now. Right. You ain't even started treating people right like you've been treating people yeah. right because COVID's on the scene. Yeah. He got a plan to prosper you because yeah. you're scared now. Yeah. Yeah. And to bring you good success because once you start to treat people right like he said, treat them, yeah. now you do what he said, do. Yeah. That's a plan to prosper you. That's right, right. Yes. And to bring you good success, that can you one more step closer to heaven. Yeah. Yes, God wants you to live a long life. 
the casual conversation with people, they'll tell you, you know, I want to live long and I want to be fruitful, but I don't want to do nothing. Mm. We want the best of what God got. Amen. But we don't want to do nothing to get it. Well, well, well. Okay, okay, watch this. I told them on yesterday, and I've been telling them for a minute. Anybody looking for an opportunity to do anything worthwhile? Amen. 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 Now is a good time. That's it. Well, no, yes, it is. Yeah. See, God only works. When there's any possibilities. Right. Amen. Right. Now the best time to start your business and live a fulfilled yes. life. Yes. Right. right. Well, no, now the best time. You can't go by what you're looking at. Right. That right. ain't your prayer. Yes, right. See, your prayers be not here. Let me talk to the Lord and let him show me what it is I need to do right now yeah. in this pandemic. In this systemic racism, in this injustice, in equality, now the time to make a move. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Amen. Ain't no need to keep talking about it day in and day out and watching on CNN. That ain't helping you. Right. Right. Amen. You've been talking about it a lot. Inequality just didn't get in here. Right. Amen. Systemic racism just didn't get here. Right. This ain't the first pandemic. Right. Amen. Right. right. Amen. You got to move in these times that it look like it ain't time to move. That's right. I know what you think. I'm going to wait the day and get better. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't move when they work better. Right. And you ain't going to move when they get better. Right. So what better time to move than right now? Amen. Move now. Because ain't nobody else moving. Amen. Okay. You got to look at this. Right. Many believers die before their time as a result of not knowing the promises of God. And I want to talk about that today. The promises of long life are not foremost in the minds of most people. All right. Watch this. Bro, this is going to make sure you look. This is how long some of y'all want to live. If I make the second, I'm good to go. Well. That is not the promise. Right. Yep. Right. That is not the promise. God promised us long life. Long life. Right. Come on, talk to me. God promises long life. Yes. Right. And he said you can have an abundant life. Yes. Now what? So if God come to me, or anybody come to me outside of God, I take that back, and you talk to me about living a long life, about life and death, I will tell you emphatically, I'm not ready to die. Yeah. Right. Amen. Yes, sir. No, no, it ain't because I'm scared. I ain't ready. Right. Yeah. <laughs> what? Because he promised me long life. I ain't lived long enough yet. Yeah. Right. right. No. See, I can tell him that because that's the problem. Right. He promised me long life. Yeah. Yes. I ain't ready to die. Amen. That's what I want to The reason I ain't ready to die, because I ain't ready to die, I ain't fulfill all the things he got me with fulfilling. That's, that's it. why I come against COVID. That's it. Amen. In Jesus' name. Yeah. That's why I come against inequality. Jesus' name. That's why I come against systemic racism in Jesus' name. That's why I come against anything that's not like God and believe that in you in Jesus' name. Come on. Because I ain't ready to die. Yeah. Yeah. See, that was a shot for y'all missed. Okay. You ain't ready to die. That's right. That's right. Cause, show. Amen. Amen. Watch this. Just like you release your faith for everything else, you better release your faith for long life. Amen. Amen. Okay. Ooh, I got faith to get that new house. <laughs> yeah. Good. Oh, I got faith to get that new house. Good. I got faith to get that new husband. But why? Good. I can be got faith to live a long life. Amen. 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 Yeah. We limit ourselves, and God is unlimited. Okay, okay. Here's that. Anybody know how to be God is? You know how to be God is? Watch this. Anybody know where the east is? Yeah. If you keep going east, yeah. tell me when you get to east, to the end of east. As long as you keep going east, you'll never get to the end of it. Right. That's how being God is. You right. say, well, I'm coming from the west, but you're still going east. Right. You got it? Cause that, you'll never get to this. God is unlimited. Yes, he is. So stop 
limiting him to what you want him to do. Amen. Okay, here's a limit. You tell him, well, my family had such and such a thing. I'm going to get it. Now, you call that on yourself. Right. They ain't promising you. Right. Oh, my goodness. Don't, please don't let nobody in your family or somebody you know good get cancer. You done already put them at Shaw's Mars or wherever. Yep. Because they got cancer. Yeah. Talk against cancer. Yes, Amen. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. God wants us to live a long, prosperous life so we can do the work he got for us to do. Amen. Psalm 91. Amen. Amen. God promises to give us a long life. Amen. Psalm 91. Because he said our purpose is to serve him. See, I told you, see, you got to be willing to open your mouth and agree with God's word. Amen. You got to be willing to praise God for what God is doing for you. Psalm 91, verse number 15 and 16. You there? Okay, read. You should call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen. Okay, see that? With long life, yep, he yep. promises to satisfy us. I ain't satisfied. Right. <laughs> right. Right. What a satisfied people with your life. Mm. Talk to me. Well, you ought to want to live long, not to be ho home. Right. Who, who wants better? Amen. 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 Now watch this. Better is not guaranteed to come to you unless you do something. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Amen. Okay, watch. Here how better comes to me. I'm talking about me because y'all don't want to help me. I wish y'all did help me a little bit. Here how better comes to me. Every day I decree and declare I'm a blessing. Right. Yeah. On my way somewhere to happen. All right. I'm decreeing and declaring that I'm going to be a blessing to somebody. All right, all right. Or somewhere. So once I decree and declare that I'm going to be a blessing to somebody, favor comes upon me. Amen. Amen. The favor comes upon me to be the blessing to somebody that I want to be a blessing to. In the meantime, I'm being blessed. Amen. Amen. Yeah. You can get that? See, I, I'm not looking to get a blessing. I'm looking to be a blessing. Amen. But you can't be what God wants you to be and not be a reciprocal character of what he got for you. Right, 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 right. Amen. If you want to be, be blessed, be a blessing. Right. That don't mean all the time you give everybody what they want. Look for an opportunity to show God. Amen. That's in you. If it's in you. Be an opportunity to show people God. Then watch the blessing come on your life. You cannot be an ambassador for the Lord and not be protected. Amen. Or bless some kind of way. Right. Amen. Amen. You can die before you die. All right. Amen. Amen. You watch. Here, here's a misnomer. Can I have y'all right quick? I got the preachers up in here. Amen. Well. I didn't want to know if I need to get my pills out. <laughs> Watch this. Sometimes, in the law of a moment, and it's been a it's a misnomer, they don't understand it. In funerals, you heard this heard, probably heard this said in funerals. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. They said that at a funeral. Like God has robbed somebody of their life. That's a misnomer. Right. It's a misinterpretation of scripture. Got to read the book of Job real carefully. Yeah. Job was talking about what happened to his family. Come on. Yeah. Watch this. Job said, God gave them to me. Right. And, he, and, and now they're gone. Right. So watch this. You got to understand Job, plight, and dilemma. You can look at Job with a negative eye, but you never lost everything you owned at one right. time. Right. Amen. Amen. That's it. Amen. No you, no, you ain't never lost everything in your life. No, you may have lost some help, some eyesight, some friends, some family, but you ain't never lost everything right. at one time. Well, right. So Job made the proclamation, the Lord give it, and the, the Lord, Lord take it away. Now, he is distressed, but God did not take your life because he's lonely. Right. Amen. Amen. 
Well, he took him to come up there to be with him. He ain't lonely. Amen. Yeah, right. He ain't lonely. Right. No, you did something trying to cut yourself short. The Lord don't promise you long life and then snatch it from you. Amen. That's right. God is not schizophrenic. He don't say I love you and hate you in the same word. Yep. That don't work. Yep. That's only with us. Yeah. Exactly. Come on. He's not schizophrenic. If he's going to bless you, he's going to bless you with long life. Right. He said in the book of Psalm, I will satisfy you if you trust in him with long life. Amen. Yeah. I'm just, tell me, tell me, say this to somebody you're sitting next to. Say, girl, I'm just like one. Yeah. I'm getting fired one time. Yeah. And that's the only thing I'm going to get away with that. <laughs> See, the older wine gets, the more valuable it is. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. I like y'all when you drink wine. <laughs> y'all in church. Amen. Amen. After some guys take communion, I take a real one. Woo! Move on, boy. <laughs> go, go and clean the ass in seven. Amen. It's not the will of God for you to be sick, to have disease, or die an accident. It's not God's will for your life to be short. He cleans the ass in seven. Verse number 17. Yeah. See, God wants you to stand in faith so you can live Amen. and not die before your time. Listen, God, we got too much in this ministry that God has put before us that we have to do. Ain't no sense you talking about getting up out of here. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Now, I don't want you to die, and you are not the one to die. You ain't seen the blessing yet. Yes, Amen. yes. Ecclesiastes. 7 and 17 says, Be not over much wicked, neither be thou foolish. Why shouldst thou die before thy time? Mm. Well, you want to die for your time? Mm. Okay, okay, here it is. Speed limit, 65. You drive 165. Uh -oh. Now, dear, run out in the road. You hit the deer, your chances of living are zero. Amen. If you had to be going 165, you probably will live going 65. You got it? Why, why you going to go to them places if you ain't got to be to go? Right. <laughs> now you got shot. Well, if you had been there, you may not have got shot. Amen. Amen. If you had not, I learned this in Sunday school this morning, open your mouth at the wrong time, <laughs> you might still be living. Amen. Amen. So sometimes you can talk too much. All right, Psalm. Go, go back to Psalm, the 90th chapter of Psalm, because God wants you to have a long life. It's not the will of God for you to get sick. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. It's not. It's not the will of God for you to have an accident and die. That's right. It's not the will of God for you to cut your life short. Psalm 90, 10 through 12. Yeah. The days of our years are three score years and ten. Watch this. And if by reason of strength they be four score years, yet is their strength labor and sorrow, for it is soon cut off and we fly away. Who know the power of thy anger, even according to thy fear, so is thy wrath. Okay. Well, it's only promise to the non believer three score and ten. Okay, just in case you don't know what that is, that's 70 years old. Okay, that's for the non-believer. All right. In the beginning, it was promised for us to live 120 years at least. Amen. I don't know when to shout. It was promised in the beginning for us to live 120. The only reason that 70 and maybe 80 came on the scene was when sin came in. If you in sin, living a lifestyle of sin, don't you expect no more than seven. Amen. Amen. Okay. Amen. But if you in the Lord, expect one twenty plus. Right. Come on. Because you can tell him that seven I ain't in sin and I ain't satisfied. Amen. That's what the word says. Yeah. See, when you learn to 
interpret this word, then you learn to get longer life. Yes, sir. See, most of us sitting out there and in Facebook and the internet now, you hoping you make it. Prime example, prime example. He didn't make the 120, but I believe he could have. My granddad decided he did not want to live to be 110 years old. He decided. Amen. I asked him, do you want to go to 110? He said, no. I said, why not? Because ain't nobody my age around here. Amen. Amen. And he said, everybody going on, Bernie. He went to sleep and went on. Amen. He was only 30 days from being 110. I believe he called his own shot. Yeah. So if he made it to 110, that's a good chance I can make it to at least 110, but I'm shooting for 120 plus. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Amen. I ain't going to be out there at 70. Right. All right. I'm going to go on and teach it and go on and home. Amen. Genesis. That's the first book of the Bible. The eighth chapter of yeah, I think that's eight. Amen. Genesis 6, what's wrong? Every time a person dies, it doesn't mean they outlive or they live a fear of the day. Genesis 6 and 3. Every time a person dies, it doesn't mean they died and lived out that fulfillment of their day. They died in a short period of time. Amen. Genesis 6 and 3 says, And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh, yet his days shall be in a hundred and twenty years. Okay, now watch this. God ain't gonna always be around. Okay. Okay. One day, say one day, one day. you're gonna look for God and you may not find him. Amen. 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 Out of the mouth of a baby. <laughs> so you better try and make every effort to get your house in order. Yes, sir. Because the Spirit of God will always grow with man. Okay. Amen. You don't know the day nor the hour. That he's coming back. That's right. That's right. Even though you're not satisfied with long life yet, if he decides to come back today and you got your house in order, at least you know where you're going. That's right. 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 You should go and live in eternity where there's never any death. Amen. 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 See, Jesus, but it's impossible. For you to be raised out of death. Exodus. The 20th chapter. Because see, right now, if you're not living a godly life, then you are living a deadly life. Amen. That's calling on death to come into your life. Yes, sir. Okay? Exodus. The 20th chapter. Verse number 12. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long about the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Okay, you see that? So I'm going back and reproving everything I told you. You don't want your days cut short. Because see, watch. If, if it's meant if they time everybody to die, it was before their time, it was their time to die, then Jesus and the apostles were against the will of God. Amen. <laughs> right, let me say it again. If it was meant. <clears throat> For most people to die when they die, then that means Jesus and the apostles, when they were raising folk from the dead, they were going to get the will of God. That's right. Amen. In other words, it wasn't that time. Watch this. Y'all, y'all, it's more than one person got raised from the dead. Right. But Jesus did raise Lazarus. Right. Right. If it was meant for Lazarus to die and stay dead, then Jesus wouldn't have raised him. Right, right. right. Exactly. It didn't stop with Jesus. With, with, with Jesus, Peter went and got him some back. Yes, sir. Right. And raised them up. See, Jesus and Peter and them, they were funeral records. Yes, sir. Yeah. They were grave robbers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they did this. They raised folk from the dead. Okay. That's why he, he wanted to satisfy them with long life. They should live and not die. That's why he told his disciples, Mary and Martha, Lazarus is not dead. Yes, sir. He's only a 
sleep. Okay. You're in a position right now that you're not dead. You just sleeping. Right. Right. But you can come up out of your sleepingness and God can raise you to another new life in him. Right. Yeah. Ain't nobody saying nothing to me. God wants you to live and not die. Right. Right. He don't want you to be in a bad situation. That's a, you know, a bad, I ain't talking about just a physical death. All of that. Sometimes your, your thinking just got you dead. Yeah. And you need to be resurrected in your thinking. Right. Amen. I, I don't want this long, amen. You didn't go long enough. Amen. 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 Don't let the devil talk you down. Amen. Satan wants to make you think that you don't have much time to live. Time is winding up. Yes, it is. For those that don't believe. Time, Jesus coming back soon. Yes, sir, he's he been on his back. He's been on his way back there since he left. Yes, sir. Are you listening to me? Yes. But you can't sit and wait. You got to be doing something. Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. <laughs> Happy day breakfast. Amen. You got to do a little something, something. You got to do a little something, anybody. Amen. But you, you, go, you got me to go eat again today. Amen. You ain't going to wait either. Amen. <laughs> something's there right now. You just going to get through. So I'll give me some need. Some of y'all read that. What's the lunch? <laughs> See, you ain't waiting. Right. It's the same thing about having a long life. Don't wait. Go and try to get it. Right. Right. Amen. 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 You got to learn that death and life is in your mouth. Yes, it is. If you speak, Lord have mercy. I'm going to catch the cold. You know they trick you into taking a flu shot. Yes, sir. Then you go take the flu shot, and guess what? You get the flu. Yeah. Then they tell you that that's your prevention. No, I don't, I don't want the flu to get the, to prevent the flu. Right. All you tell me is I can't catch the flu because I got the flu. Right. I'm, I ain't going to get it no way. Because I'm decreeing and declaring ain't no flu coming on him. Exactly. You, you, that's the thing. You, it's in your mouth. Right. Okay, y'all can't kill it. Watch this. Long time ago, ago. y'all used to say this, but I could damn. <laughs> Guess what you just did? Damn put it on yourself. Yeah. I'll be damn. You put it on you. Yes, it came out of your mouth. Right. You put it on you. That's right. Yes, I'll be blessed. That's what y'all to say. Yes, yes. I'm better than that. You didn't know? See, this thing you got to say, God said you skillfully and wonderfully made, but you don't think you are. Come on, right? That's why when somebody says, you think you look good, you shout out. You ought to tell them, since God made you, you know God made you. You think you're looking good, you ought to tell them, you didn't know? Because God made me. Right. Move on. Proverbs. Okay. 18. I got to get you to get this, because I should live and not die. You can't let the devil impose premature death on you. Amen. Proverbs 18, verse number 21. What does it say? Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Eat the fruit thereof. You are, eat what you say. That's right. Amen. Okay, you don't believe that. How the tree gone? By the fruit it bear. So if you bear death, you're going to eat death. That's right. But if you bear in life and full of life, then you eat life abundantly. Right. Yes. Right. It's not hard. Right. See, you got to listen. That's why on last week I told you, you got to open your mouth and praise. Amen. If you don't ever open your mouth and say nothing, don't you think nothing's going to come to you? That's right. Uh -huh. When Jesus told those praises to go to war and sing, and they and they didn't went to war and fought, they never would have won. Amen. Right, right, right. Amen. But you gotta learn to obey instruction. Open up your mouth and say what God told you to say. That's it. You saying everything else anyway. Amen. 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 You repeat everything the president say. Come on. And that's why you ain't getting nowhere. You repeat everything that everybody else talking about, and you have no interest in it whatsoever. You just repeat it. Right. 
Amen. Jesus came to deliver us from the fear of death. He got me scared no more than. Amen. Amen. God will put the enemy one day under his feet. Hebrews, the second chapter. I'm just going to go on methodically through this scripture and be done. So I'll let y'all go eat. Hebrews, the second chapter. Verses 14 to 15. You get that. Hebrews 2, 14 and 15. Read. For such then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy them that had the power of death, that is, the devil. And deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. God, through Jesus, has already defeated death. Yes, right. So right, you have right. no reason to be scared. Come on. Right. Come on. This is how he defeated death. When Jesus came to earth, wrapped up in swaddling cloth. News break, he's not in a manger anymore. Right, right. When he came wrapped in swaddling cloth, he grew up and went on about his ministry. He made the announcement back in Genesis, being God, that one day a boy on the heel of a man gonna bruise the head of the serpent, being Satan. Yes, he already made it and created. Watch this. So here now Jesus is, Jesus said. I'm born, watch this, to die. Right. That was a shouting point. Now you ain't got to die. Right. He was born to die. Right. He knew his purpose. He had to go and die because he's the only one that's going to defeat the devil in death. Yes, sir. Right, right, right. So they with me now. So what? So now he comes to prove. He said that the devil almost duped him because when he went to the Garden of Gethsemane, he did not want to go to death. Amen. But after praying, that's why praying is important, he prayed and came to himself. Yeah. He said, not my will, but let thy will be done. In other words, let me go and do what I was born to do. Yes, sir. Yes. yes. Y'all remember that? That's what I was born to do. That, my baby girl tell me all the time, I tell her, every day in your child, I was about to. I said, yeah, that's what you were born to do. About to. <laughs> but she was about to, and Jesus said, I, was, I got to go on and do what I got to do. Amen. So watch this. Here comes Jesus now. He let them, watch this, beat him. All right. Yeah. He let them mock him from judgment hall to judgment hall. Yep, yep, he yep. let them. Pierce him in his side. Yeah. He yeah. let yeah. them nail ribbons in his hands and feet. He let them put him on the cross. He let them raise him up. He let them drop him down in a hole. He let them take him off the cross. He let them put him in a rock. Uh -huh. Put a rock on a rock. Sit a rock on the rock. Put God in front of the rock. And he said, in three days, I'm getting up. Yes, sir. Yes. In three days, he got up. Yes, sir. Watch this, not with some power, he come out the grave with more power. All power in heaven and earth, now is in my head. How did he do that? He went down there in hell and took away the power. Yes, sir. Yes. You ain't got the world about dying no more. He told death and hell and the devil, you going to the lake of power. Y'all yeah. ain't said nothing to me. He said, that's why you can say, now I can live a long life. Amen. And declare the works of the Lord. I'm not going to sit on work and not do nothing but sit on my Lord. Come on. I'm not going to do it yes, because I got to declare the works of the Lord. I wish you would get with me just a little bit. Yes, sir. Come on. Yes. Come on. See, God trying to get you to a place and elevation that you need to get to. That's but right. you can't get there if you never do what he said do. That's right. That's it. I ain't mad at nobody. I ain't talking about nobody. Just talking about what I'm talking about. You ought to be tired of just coming to church. Come on. Amen. You got to be tired of it. It doesn't matter what you do. Yes, sir. Why in the world you going to come get instructions and never use them? Amen. You know what? Amen. I just got to outrun it. Just listen to this. Anybody like traveling other than me? Amen. I don't like driving them. I still like traveling. Yeah, I <laughs> but then there's something you can get those 
GPS system. Yeah. And it'll tell you, especially when you know where you're going, mm -hmm. it'll tell you, turn around at the next exit. Yeah. <laughs> now I had a GPS system tell me, I'm right at the driveway, make a U-turn. I was out, we'll make a U-turn here back to the as long as I've been driving. All right. See, sometimes stuff will tell you stuff, it ain't right. right. But this is right. That's it. You gotta know God knows the plan to prosper you and to bring you good success. He wants you to live a long life. Yes, I know, listen to yes, me. Sir. He wants you to live a long life in the clutter works of the Lord. If we do God's work, Peter in Matthew 6 and 33, seek ye first. The kingdom of God and his righteousness, then something happens for you. Oh, amen. All things come upon you. Yes. All the things you never even thought about. Watch this. When all things come upon you, hear what comes upon you. Eyes have not seen, yeah. ears have not heard, nor has it entered into your little mind what God is about to do in your life. Yes, sir. Yes. Isn't that something? He said, You will live and not die. These are the things you got to say. Yeah. Right there, he's like, Pastor, ain't dead yet. Get there. Start saying it. Yes, I will live and not die. I will live and not die. And I will control the work of the Lord. That's what you got to do. Yeah. But then to get better in your life, you got to follow God the way he said follow. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 You got to do what he said do. Yeah. We honestly yeah. do not understand how much the Lord God in heaven loves us. Oh, yeah. If we understood how much he loves us, we would stop selling for any and everything in our lives. Right. Yeah. You better stay with me. See, something that you wouldn't give up for the Lord, he'll give back to you better. Right. Yeah. But you got to be willing to give it up. Right. You got to be willing to give up wrong. Amen. 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 For the right. That's right. Wrong and right ain't going to go together. Right. It's going to always be a fact. You gotta fight enough in your life. Amen. How many have been how you been attacked by Satan since you've been saved? Amen. I already know you ain't gotta raise your hand. Right. Right. And if you ain't been attacked since you've been saved, that tells me you ain't been saved. Because he don't fight against his own house. Right. Right. Amen. Amen. He don't fight against uh, he's the house, not the battle. The only house I know is the battle for the most part is the Christians. Come on. Come on. We're the battle. Yes, sir. That's why we got the church of Jubilee and the church of ABC and the church of one, two, three. Because right. we can't get it wrong. Right. Right. We divide it. Serve the same God. Right. Satan ain't divided. Right. He made that claim to Jesus when Jesus went across to the Galilee. He asked the man who had a legion of demons, who are you? The man said, we're legion. The spirit said, we're legion. What that mean? That means they're army. they regimented. They fight one call, they can't go up. Yeah. But they ran because somebody told them up. Right. Cause Jesus don't play that. Right. If I'm boy, that's more than twelve thousand against you. Twelve thousand demons in one person. Yeah. Woo wee. Yeah. Good gracious of life. No wonder he was crazy. Twelve thousand demons, how I many you got? <laughs> <laughs> they keeping you from saying amen. All right. Yeah. They keeping you from worshiping God. To keep you from one long life. Right. To keep you from saying the thing out of your mouth you need to say. How many you got? Come on, come on. How many suppressing you? You can't see the vision that God got. So I ain't got to see it. I'm just going to run with it. Because yeah. 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 what? The Bible said for the man of God to write the vision. Right. And make it plain. They tell you to write. You take it and run. That's, That's what it said. Yeah. Well, he said go to the store. Then go to the store. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, but what about? No, nah, they know what about go to the store. That's it. Got it? I shall live and not die. Amen. And declare the work of the Lord. Amen, amen, amen and amen. amen. amen.